Hi. Uh, today I'm filming something we gathered on our walk. This is common milkweed. Um, I'm going to try to attempt the Latin name Asclepius syriaca. And um, I'm not that familiar with this plant, to be honest. It is not one that I use or keep on hand, but it is fun to identify new plants in our area. So I'm going to just break the stem so you can see the, the milk. All right, so right there, let me back this juicy liquid is the sap in the inside of the stem that's the milky part and it's my understanding this can be used on warts it's kind of sticky um, I tasted it and it's sweet and Native American Indians as far from the book that I'm looking in um, back to Eden and what other book was I in a modern herbal they use this plant and boiled the leaves the flowers and the pods before eating uh, they use the stem it's very fibrous like to make ropes it's sort of like um, the hemp plant it's very sturdy It has been used for kidney troubles, bowel, female complaints, dropsy, asthma, stomach troubles. Um, fomentations can be applied to the liver. And there is warnings on like in every book I have about it being poisonous in large amounts. So I have to assume there was some kind of test done where large amounts were given to animals or something that and they found you know it to be poisonous so I I don't know what to say about that but it's good to know this plant and if you are in the wild and you you know <clears throat> needed to use it for for some purposes it has um, like utilitary purposes with the fibrous stem it has the the sap that I would apply actually I think even to poison ivy as well as warts so just like a, a really interesting, neat plant.